You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Today I have a familiar face. I have our friend Paul Angle from Brockton Public Library. Hey, Paul. Hey, Mark. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Good to see you. What is um, either new and different or stuff that we do on a regular basis that, uh, I don't know, maybe we haven't talked about in a while? Well, um, let me start out with just promoting a couple things with, that we do every week um, or cyclically uh, uh, quite a bit. Sure. Uh, over at East and West, both the branches in the evenings that they're open, we have uh, children's crafts. They run from 3 to 7. Uh, I believe, uh, what is it, East is open tonight, so that means West would be open Wednesday. So Wednesday night at West, Thursday night at East. We always have walking crafts for the kids from 3 to 7. And then for the wee little kids, the ages 0 to 4, we do um, what's called a kids club. We do those at East, we do those at West, we do those in, at the main library as well. And this month they're going to be at the main library. Or I'm sorry, they're going to be at West. No, I'm sorry, they're going to be at East. Okay. <laughs> I've got to read my notes. There you go. <laughs> and that's on May 1st, 8th, 15th, and the 22nd. Okay. So something for all the kids, all the time, on a regular basis, or cyclical, like you said, um, because a library is where you want to get kids used to growing up in. That's right. If you think about it, I, you know, and as soon as they can write their name at some point, they can have get, their own library, library card, card, right? <laughs> Otherwise, uh, mom and dad are taking the stuff out for them, right? Yep. I'd pay in the fines. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, mine used to do fines because they keep the stuff a little longer. I, I just did the same thing myself, and even though I'm on the board, I pay my fines, yeah. so, okay. Um, but we got the month of May is, is full. Yes. There's so many different things. Sometimes there's more than one thing on a day besides the regular services that take place at the library. That's right. Okay. Um, you have a children's room. You have uh, a reference room. You have a teen zone. That's right. We have a maker space. Mm -hmm. uh, we got a historical room. You name it, we have it. That's right. Okay, at downtown. And then the branches are, are there on the you know east and west side so people can use them too. Um, but on May 1st, there are three different events on that day. That's right. We'll start off with the, uh, the Maker Camp, which is part of the Maker Space. And Pat and Keith are going to have a project where they're uh, pretending they're going to land two astronauts in a spaceship. And then the kids need to get together and design the shock absorbers to, that will protect the astronauts when they land. Mm. And they have to design them and then they test them to see how they work. Okay. So that's going on in the morning. It's, that's, or I'm sorry, that's going on at 5.30 to 7. Yeah. Um, in the afternoon, we have a financial literacy course going on in Lingos. Okay. And that's basically a course to teach people how to maneuver their finances, you know, deal with landlords, just kind of every, all the financial things that you run into in the course of your life and, and to help people. We have a lot of people in Brockton that don't speak English as their first language and it's really geared towards helping them out and helping them out understanding how the how finances work in the United States. Something they should teach in school but they can't because they're teaching to the test and yes. uh, there's certain things and they don't teach kids how to balance a checkbook or right. that's if they have one because it's all online right. so you <laughs> yeah. know who knows but financial literacy is really important if you start out and you have issues with credit you'll have them follow you the rest of your life. That's right. So And that's one that we run, run fairly often it's a fairly new new program that we started and we're doing a lot of new stuff, but I'll talk about some of the other stuff later. And then in the evening, Dr. Highlander is back. He's going to be starting up his lecture on America in 1968. Mm. A very, uh, very um, um, watershed year for the country. A lot happened in 1968. And you, you're a fan of Gary Highlander. I'm a fan of his. And I'm sure this lecture series is going to be fantastic. Unassuming person, someone who is not caught up with himself, who you can tell he loves what he does. Yes, absolutely. And uh, we've recorded him on JFK and LBJ, mm -hmm. and hopefully we'll find a way. i got to figure out. I, I can't go that night because that's my school committee meeting, but I'm going to find a way to get a camera over there. Yeah, it's, it's, But we want people to go because he, he's lively and engaging. Yeah, so he really he's is. not your boring, stuffy college professor. He's, a, he's, he's, he's entertaining and he's humble. Yes. So I highly yeah. endorse that. And then on the third, a couple of days later, Thursday, something called Music, Music Together. Together. What that's, is that? That's also for the tiny kids, the, uh, the ages 0 to 4, 0 to 5. 
um, we uh, uh, we bring in music for for these kids to experience to kind of pull, it's literally like a touch tank for music. Okay. And kids just bang on the instruments and drums and and, and make make sound, make noise, make music. And it's great because that's a great way to, to, to uh, music is a great way to teach kids anything about mm -hmm. uh, eye hand coordination, about hearing, about seeing. It's a, you know, there's, and to do it when they're that age, I mean, I used, I'm a musician, of course, but I did that all the time with my kids. And, and the, that's a really popular thing that we run often during the summer. Uh, when parents are home with their kids and need things to do. So no one's going to tell them to shh in the no, library. No. We, want, we want to hear the sounds. Okay. <laughs> so then we go to Saturday the 5th, which is uh, the official Cinco de Mayo. That's right. Okay. So what's going on for that? We have a, um, we have a lot going on. We have a, um, I'm, not, I'm going to butcher her name, I'm sure, about uh, Shul Shulina Haas Trio with Eduardo Merceri and uh, Julio Santos. And they're going to be performing traditional Spanish music for it's a kids event it's gonna okay. be you know they and they gear it for towards kids uh, so no margaritas at that no just, margaritas just, just at performances just, and just stuff kids. like that and you have music too yep later is that for kids or adults um, later that's gonna be for adults that's Jerry Ladock and he's going to be performing uh, Indian flute music upstairs okay. in the in the um, art gallery I love the musical theme you and I talked about yeah, that yeah. when you were hired and bring a musician in we'll have music at the library right. it works out perfectly <laughs> okay and then we have our own mayor coming as part of the immigration series on the 8th, correct? That's Tuesday right. The 8th? Tuesday the 8th is going to be the second to the last of the series. And Mayor Carpenter is going to be speaking. I think his topic is the welcoming table. And he'll be bringing in, he'll be talking about his experiences. And, and uh, he's an engaging speaker and a really intelligent man. I think he's going to offer up a great program for us. And he'll probably have a word in at least every other language because I know he's working on his Cape Verdean Creole. I oh, know he, he knows some Greek. He has a Greek name. He's half Irish. Every, every, <laughs> every one of those flag raising ceremonies. <laughs> this part of the heritage in there, and, and he makes people feel welcome yes, he does. With, with the community. And uh, I'm not sure what I have left for time, but last but not least, we're just going to promo this, and then we'll bring you back and we'll talk about May and June events. Okay. But everyone has a voice on Saturday the 19th? Yep. Philipposaurus has been running this program all year. We're, we're wrapping up this year. Um, Oliver de la Paz is a poet who will be presenting, and we have a student, uh, Jaden Boatwright. Okay, so we got all the events uh, fit to print, so yep. to speak, like the New York Times used to say, except it's on TV, um, <laughs> uh, at the Brockton Public Library, which is www.brockdenpubliclibrary.org. Right. And there's a calendar of events, so you can see all of these things. Yes. And just a good old-fashioned phone number to call. That's right. 580-508-580-7890. Right. Okay, and that'll get you the main branch. That's right. Okay. So, Paul, thanks for being here. Thanks, and Mark. we'll look forward to more good things at the library. Always. Okay. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.